You will remember when President Trump's Twitter account was taken down for nearly 11 minutes earlier this month. Now the man responsible is speaking out for the first time. It was CNN's tech correspondent Lori Siegel who spoke to him. She joins me now. There was this notion this was a man behaving with some kind of political intent, trying to send some kind of a message yeah. on his way out the door. But the truth is is what he's saying is that was actually not so. He said it was a mistake and he, he said to me in an interview, he said, I did this, I confess, but I wasn't looking to do something bad. I wasn't planning on it. And he, he talks about how this account came in front of him because he was part of a group of people who looked at flagged accounts. Someone flagged Donald Trump's Twitter account, came in front of him, he put the wheels into motion. He said, I never thought though that I could have the power to take it down. I never thought it would happen. And he said, even if it was on purpose, it shouldn't have taken place because of internal regulations at the company. It's not my responsibility. And funny enough, John, he didn't even realize that the account had been taken down until he saw news media reports that said a rogue employee on his yeah. last day took it down. And he thought, well, I was the only one. It was my last day. And for all those people who thought he was, who wanted to see Trump's Twitter account taken down and thought it was a hero, uh, I have to inform you that he actually like. he told me he likes Trump. He thinks Trump is charismatic, a good leader, but he thinks he needs to learn a little bit as a politician. The larger story here is the fact that this could actually actually happened. He, had, he said he had a headache and it was a bad day and he was having one of those days and that's what happened. The fact that a, a contractor was able to do that is a big issue for Twitter. That, that is a serious security issue that Absolutely someone was is. able to do that given what we are seeing right now, the impact of some of the things that the president writes on Twitter. Lori Siegel, great to have you with us. Thanks Thank so you. much for that story.